Um, Harry Sultan recently, um, with the regards to the protests in India, do you know, by Muslims, etc. Um, th- this was his response. Oh, I-, I feel sorry for Indians who have to live with 200 million of these people. That was his response to that. Wait, that so again? he basically, essentially, no. So, so with regards to the recent protests in India by Muslims against, you know, the so-called blasphemy nonsense, right? He said, mm-hmm. "Oh, it's um, uh, it's it's so sad that India has to cope and live with 200 million of these these people, these Muslims. Like he's essentializing a whole group of people, including children, right? Because that includes, if including 200 million people, you're including the children." Uh, and whatnot, and he's essentializing a whole group of people, saying that I they're thought, all. I thought, I thought, I thought Harris, Harris Hilton was very careful about. Um, he's not careful. Watch his channel. He's he's he's, he's stupid. No, he can't I, think. I rec- he can't think. I, I yeah. recently actually, I actually just saw a recent video of him saying that, um, making it very clear that we're against Islam and we're like we defend Muslims and we defend their so rights. He'll make, those, he'll make those statements, and then he'll he'll make a statement like the one that I've just mentioned. So he's a completely incoherent. <laughs> that's just why I think says, it's important says, to have. Like, he says we love. He. I remember watching him on his channel. And he said he says that he loves Muslim because like his family members are Muslims. Like how could he? How could he not love Muslims? You know that's. But what then why said. would why would he make a statement like that then? Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I've noticed that a lot of people are not careful about generalization language, but when you pin them down, they are like and ask them about their views. Their views are not as generalized, but they haven't practiced not speaking in generalized terms. But like their views are not collective, um, but they're not as careful about how they speak, even though that that, that doesn't represent the views. So it's not well, like their even, views even if it doesn't represent even, even if it doesn't represent his views, the fact that he's putting that out to his yeah, audience. I agree. Yeah, I, agree really I agree. I agree. If that's how he's speaking, I agree with that criticism. I just want to make it clear that it might not actually be how he thinks and that he needs to yeah. be told that this is like this way of talking about a collective is dangerous. Well, I told him having an ethical framework is important in terms of arriving at uh, consistent conclusions, but he thinks that that's nonsense, uh, that that's rubbish, that you don't have it's to think about. Hard for me, it's frame- hard for me to judge. It's hard for me to comment about things where I haven't seen the actual content and when they're, they themselves are not here to... Um, I'll send you the links. I'll send you all the links. Okay. And as, as part of that, obviously, I'll, I'll just make a final comment with regard to this. As part of that um, talk about uh, Indian Muslims, there was uh, an instance where one guy, um, his daughter's like a prominent activist, right? Prominent Muslim activist. And he had his house knocked down, right? He And because they say, in Uttar Pradesh, that is, it, it, because they said he was the ones that, were, he was one of the people that were instigating the protests. The house actually belonged to his wife, it had basically it wasn't even in his name. They still knocked it down. She had nothing to do with the protests, right? And Harry said, "Oh, that you don't blame the Indian government for that. Blame the blame the Muslims. Blame the mullahs for that. Blame the mullahs." So he's, he's got this con- he's got this framework where uh, all Muslims are to blame for the actions of some, and I, I think that's okay, completely I don't, unacceptable. Okay. I, I, yeah, that would be completely unacceptable if that's his view. But I don't know. Again, I don't like. We shouldn't. You should send me the clips because that doesn't sound like something Harris would say. Well, he privates his uh, live streams, but if I find the thingy on one of his, um, you know, the clips that he puts out, because I, I watched the live stream in full. That's, you know, not, from the at all, that's not at all something like what, uh, that Harris would say. He I, did say that. He, I promise you. Okay, I, I, okay, some, okay, sometimes I've noticed that, I don't know about this, because I sometimes people tell, like, tell me, like, somebody said this, I promise you, I promise you, okay? And then when I li- go and listen to the actual recording, they said something similar, but there was a the reporting of it to me had a spin on it like it it was more about the interpretation of the person listening to the comment rather than the comment itself so I, that's why i'm that's why i'm going to be i have to be skeptical you know what i mean okay i, I will do my best to find the uh, clips if not i'll subscribe to his channel i'll pay the whatever pounds it is and i'll send you the full live stream and give you timestamps okay if i can't find okay. the clips Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.